T-Man 978 Shell Review. Hello everyone. Right now we're taking it back to the Toy Biz Sentinel series Black Panther right here. Given to me by Gigastorms. Thank you Gigastorms. I'm finally doing something with these figures. Aren't you happy? Anywho, we get to take a trip back to see how old figures were and this one aged well to me, honestly. Now, I don't know what you're going to be thinking about this. Molding is a lot of detail. He freaking looks like Batman with no mouth. I mean, you can kind of see his real mouth molded underneath of there. Which is cool. And I'll bring in Killmonger because like I was saying when I was reviewing Killmonger that some of, this, some of these details remind me of Killmonger's suit. The gold definitely helps. There you go, back there. He actually has a big port right there, which is cool. But <clears throat> one thing that I don't like about Toy Biz Legends is they have a ton of articulation, like a lot, but it's typically not that usable. Like this butterfly joint, I can't get that to move at all. Like I can get it to move on this side backwards, but not so much in. Let me try harder over here. Yeah, there we go. It's so stiff. He does have bicep rotation and a double jointed elbow. But with these muscles, you know how that works. It's not even really bending more than 90 degrees. Instead of the wrist rotation, he has mid forearm rotation. The wrist can hinge in more than it can go back out. And each finger is individually posable. But the way they're shaped, it looks more like robot hands than an actual person's hand, which is kind of weird. Ab crunches in only that much and back only that much. The head can of course rotate, no head pivot. It can go up, it's hindered by this cape. Come down, also hindered by the cape. He has a waist joint. He has these universal like ball joint things for the hips. I don't know if there's a specific name for that. It's like no reason for them, it's like they aren't like those ball joints that came on those first Iron Man movie figures. I hated those. Thigh rotation, double jointed knees, boot swivel, the foot can pivot that much. Can go all the way forward like that, all the way back, and the toe can come up. And these definitely look like boots, which is kind of weird and they are long. <clears throat> Let's bring in cinematic, the original cinematic universe, Black Panther. Those feet are very, very long. I was thinking I didn't want to pop his head off to get this cape off, but I see I don't have to do that. They're actually connected by this. So I'm gonna separate that and come back without the cape. Here he is without the cape, and we see that his head goes up that much and comes down that much. So, the cape isn't hindering things too much. And this cape, it feels good. It almost feels like rubber and leather at the same time. It's hard to describe. Let's bring Killmonger back in here. But his spike things are going up while his are coming down. In the back, they're still going up while his is going up. Of course, he had the gold cape around him, so that's gold right there. He has gold details. So, I don't know. Maybe they tried to design this around his older costume or one of his older costumes. Maybe not. Here he is with the two MCU Black Panthers. I did not have him available when I did his review, so. Let's see. Yeah, they're roughly close to the same height. One thing I hated about this figure 
was the how the arms couldn't come in more than that. That used to frustrate the crap out of me. But other than that, I kind of do like the way this outfit and the way his proportions look more. I do like that mask. But they're both good, to be honest. I can see that they went more with a toothy design right here. A claw-like design. I didn't take notice of that. And I like the way this actually like is sculpted on top like an actual necklace. So that's cool. It's not just molded in already and then painted. Here's Killmonger with that cape on. And that looks good. Looks cool. It doesn't even look weird that this is a cinematic universe character and he's wearing this cape. It, it actually goes with it. And here's this year's Black Panther with the cape on as well. So, that's cool. Don't worry, I have another Black Panther to compare all these guys to again. Maybe my next video, I'm not sure. So I'm not going to promise that, but it's coming. A lot of Toy Biz Marvel Legends have not aged well to me in my opinion, but this is one that when I pulled the toys out of the box, this is one that actually aged remarkably well in my opinion. I like his fingers, the way that you can make them more dynamic and everything. His posability is really good, besides the things I didn't like, like the limitations in the ab crunch, but what you got is still good. I love this cape, and this is still a good figure. Things I don't like is I don't like the feet, how long they are. That It's just weird and off-putting, but everything else about them is good. Even the weird Toy Biz hips are all right. So, I don't know. I like them. If you like this video, let me know in the comments. Let me know by actually clicking the like button if you stayed this long. Do me the favor and click the like button. Until next time, T Man 978, out of here. Thank you for watching. Click, click the videos. Click the fucking videos, baby. Click, click the videos. You should really click these videos. Click, click the videos. Click those fucking videos, baby. Click, click the videos.